What's up guys, welcome back to another Team's Home Circus Live video. Turn on the left side here, we have Dragon Link facing up against Runic Twin uh, Runic Twin Sprite here. You know, two very potent combo decks here. But with the Sprite build, you know, we have the Runic cards that are going to be able to destroy all the stuff. And then we have Dragon Link, which is gas on gas on gas here. You know, very good against the uh, live twin stuff, being able to banish the twins from the graveyard, being lights and darks. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe here. Helps the channel a lot. We are going to be seeing... The Runic player going to be choosing to go first here, winning the die roll, activating the destruction to summon out a Hugin. Hugin can then activate its effects here to discard a card, which is going to be discarding a tip, getting hit with Ash Blossom, which is uh, kind of rough, you know, being stopping that search of the fountain here. But we're going to be able to switch something out blue because Hugin is a level 2. That's going to search us for a jet, and then we can go right for a starter here. And then we also have a tip still to be able to activate its effects to be able to search here for a uh, fountain itself. And I believe now we're, we're out of cards. Oh no, we still have one unique card in hand. So, you know, maybe they have another runic card they can put back to draw three cards here. If not, we have a few options. We can go for a sprint line, which can give us access to our live twins by then also going into a... Uh, Going into a gigantic, which we're going to be seeing here. We're going to be seeing Sprint going to be dumping here, potentially a Kissy Kill Frost, or going for the Leela here. And then we're going to be able to XYZing into a copy of Gigantic. Gigantic effects can activate its effects, but get hit with an Imperm there. You know, also having the Imperm Ash is quite good against Sprite. It's a very, it's a much, nah, pardon me. It is very much a fair deck, but we're going to be seeing a starter that's going to be going for a copy of a Carrot. Either the carrot or the red there is pretty much going to be the right choice. But we'll be seeing a fountain being activated and a card being set here. And they're going to go Magnemut on the on the live the blue live twin here. Having the Magnemut effect as well, you know, having a one of in the hand is just pretty crazy. That's going to let them search for a Lubelion. What's going to get them access to a Sorinir or a uh, Druus from here? during the follow-up there. Which can we see a draw for turn with a, I think it's a safe route there. We're gonna see them activate Lubelion, searching for the Druid Swarm. And they're gonna be tagging out here. That can be able to activate the effects, putting the Regained onto the field here. Um, but they're thinking if they're going to chain anything to this. It's gonna resolve, they're gonna put the Regained onto the field. They're going to be seeing a normal summon of a safer tier, and then they will be activating the safer's effect. That's going to let them search for a light or a dark dragon here, going for the light wyvern burster. So they might have to banish the magma mud, which is going to be quite unfortunate. But they will be able to put back. I'm going to be seeing the drawer storm. Going to be banishing the blue here. They're going to link away for a romulus, and then we can activate the effect to send the uh, the. Um, carrot. We're going to be chaining a droplet here to negate the Romulus. And then we can activate the effect to banish, which is going to let us put back and then draw a card, which also summons up the white, um, which is pretty nice here. Because Regan will still be able to put back the, uh, or summon out the Druid's Worm here. And then we can always add back the little on to be able to activate the effect the following turn to also add uh, add the Magnum up once again here. We're going to go for a Striker Dragon line, and that's going to let us add a black as well as a Boot Sector launch here. Then we can banish to summon out here, and then we get to banish to go for a Pisty. And then Pisty can actually summon back out the Druus Worm here. Then we're going to go soar near target to summon itself out. Then we can overlay for a copy of King of Tum here. King of Tum is going to activate its effects. And summon out the Black Metal Dragon. Okay, okay. And then we're going to go right for a copy of the Boral End. And <laughs> this might be the end here for us. Um, we're going to be seeing them search for the black. Then we're going to be banishing, summoning back out, summoning out here once again. Choosing the little black metal dragon because we're most likely playing the other target in the deck. So we'll get a free summon 
from this. I'm going to go battle phase, attack, attack, and then attack. Then we're going to link away into seals here, and then seals is going to be able, or the blacks going to be able to search for the meteor, and then we're also going to have an end phase search of the. Uh, why are we searching off of Magnumite there? Did Magnumite get summoned? I don't think Magnumite got summoned there, so I don't really know if the Baldrick would have been searched, but. Um. Yeah, I don't think they had the summon there, but regardless, we're going to see them scoop. I don't think the Baldrick really sealed the deal. You know, having the seals and a Omni Negate is pretty crazy. Um, but we're moving on into game two here. You know, Sprite being a very powerful deck, but it's just too fair, especially against like a Bistial going up against like your light and dark targets are just absolutely insane. And then having also, um, you know, Imperm Ash just feels, feels like kind of bulking, to be honest. But we are going to be moving on into game two here. And it looks like we're probably going to be seeing Sprite can be starting off again, to be honest. I, I can't see them let Dragon Link go first. Um, but, like, we saw them have some cards in the deck there, which are pretty nice. You know, the Bistials are very powerful, especially when you want to go, like, up for a, a live swim package. I mean, you know, it really stops your rewarding. We did see the full, you know, it would be kind of unfortunate that we didn't see a draw three there. We had the double tip in hand. Um, but... I mean, I wonder if it's even worth going for a double tip at that point. Do you even just, maybe you just activate tip to search instead. But you really need that, you really need that level two on the field, unfortunately. So maybe it makes sense to do that in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, here, we're going to be seeing them being able to normal summon out the Kizzy Kill here. Going out for the Leela, which is very nice because now they don't really care that much about um, the... The Bistials here. We also have this Jets here that can actually summon out a starter or search for the starter, which can then summon out the blue. Um, so this will allow us to play through a little bit of a Bistial. Um, also, not wasting our lines, I guess. And then you can just start her right away for a Jet. Or start her away for a blue, I should say. If we go starter here for a blue, blue search for carrot, overlay into. Um, a copy of Gigantic. Or this, yeah. I guess potentially as well. And then we're going to go Starter here. There's no really point of Starting here because they just chain Imperm to this, targeting the Gigantic, and then you just can't activate the effects of it. So going for the red instead, um, which does make sense because you want to play around the, uh, the Ash, I suppose. They were an eye for the gigantic detaching the Leela to summon out here, which now both players cannot hit us with. Um, cannot hit us with the Bistials here. So going for the blue is going to be adding the carrot. And then we can go for a slumber here, actually, going for a copy of the Hugin, which is going to be discarding the second copy of Leela in the hand. Having two normal summons or a free discard here is absolutely insane. Also getting to search for that copy of um, of our favorite boy, Fountain. Then we're going to see them go for an IP here. Then we're going to be linking away for a pink, pink, and or we're summoning out a red, or yeah, the carrot here. And then pink's going to be bringing back the blue. And then we're going to be going for a copy of the Leela here. And then Leela's going to be able to bring back. And we draw a card. Which is pretty nice. We do have two negates as well as a opportunity to go into IP here, which is pretty crazy. And then we might have drawn into a runic card, which can let us search for more stuff here. We're gonna be seeing a fountain, and we do see a tip here. That is crazy. So we're able to draw two cards as well as search for a flashing fire or a freezing curses here, banishing the top card of the deck, which is a black metal dragon, which would have been a perfect normal summon for them. Chances are it would have been popped, though. We're going to be seeing them put back 
and then we did a draw two. So having four cards in the hand and then also having an additional at least plus one here is pretty nice. You're going to see them hit with a duster here, but they have to protect that with the carrot. Then we're seeing a normal summon of the blue or no summon of the black here. And they're going to be thinking if they're going to activate. They want to activate the effect of blue to bring back the pink, which can let them have a draw. Then we're going to be chaining a sword near here. We're going to chain red, removing carrot off the field. Then we can chain a copy of Druusworm here. And then we'll be forced to bring out a pink. Unless we have something of our own here. Do we have a bestial of our own? So we're summoning out the drawers from there. Now we have at least one card in the hand that is pretty dead. We could go right into an SP if we wanted to, which could get rid of the uh, drawers from on the field which we are going to be doing here. Going for an SP. I mean, this can link off into a Striker Dragon. They're going to go Flashing Fire, destroying the Jurus Worm here. Then banishing a Lubellion here, which is pretty crazy. And then Jurus Worm is going to be destroying a blue. We didn't chain the SP to this, which is interesting. I mean, they do have two cards left in hand, which is going to be kind of rough, especially when we have a face down. We're simply going to pass turn on this. And do we have what it takes? We have a tip once again here, which is going to let us draw another two cards. I feel like we just search for like slumber here or whatever we just don't really care about. Because we should be summoning here, right? And then we're gonna see them banish a quick launch. We know they have a Druus Worm, or we have yeah, they have a Druus Worm in the hand here. So we have to normal summon out a treat. Then we can activate the slumber to summon here. Going for a copy of the Hugan. Then we're gonna activate the effect of Fountain to put back two and drawing two. Or putting back three and drawing three here. Okay. I forgot about the other runic spell. That's crazy. Then we're going to be seeing them going to either link or... or Yeah, they have to link here. So there's no synchro monster they can make. But they do know they have the Druid Swarm in the hand. So they're going to go for a pink here. Which can then activate the effects... They're going to be targeting the link with the Druus Worm here. Or with the sword near, I should say. And they are going to chain the red there to destroy it. Then sword near with Aphid's effects, dumping the Lubellion there. And then we get the triple tactics, take the hand. We see a Levy and a copy of Tracer here. So if we just rip the Tracer, they're... I guess I do have a little... Okay, I'm not, I'm not seeing the Lubellion. My bad. So they're going to rip the... Uh, rip the copy of Levianir, keeping the tracer in the hand. I guess we'll be able to just like get beaten by SP essentially, or any of the runic cards in the hand. Um, and they do still summon out the blue here, and then blue can actually summon out the pink to get an additional draw, which is so crazy. And then they will get that additional draw, you know, having like. That's a plus four during their turn so far. And they're going to be linking off into the big one here, Trouble Sunny, keeping that extra monster zone free as well so they can activate any runic card to summon out here. And then we see them activate the one that burns here, which I absolutely I despise editing with this card being up. And then they're going to go skip battle phase and pass here. 
But that's something that they do not have. They don't have a battle phase. But we're going to be seeing our opponent scooping up there. Realizing their opponent has way too much. You know, they're going to be having a draw and a pop. They have Runic Hurt in the hand and SP on the field as well here. Which is just absolutely broken. Uh, but moving on into the all-important Game 3. We did see, you know, having multiple Bestials was uh, was decent against them. But they just made it so they couldn't activate them with the right kind of card playing. Um, you know, organizing your cards correctly and being it so that you can just activate it so they cannot get into a Bestial. You know, not having that graveyard going to be pretty good. It's pretty nice. But here we're going to be seeing that the Dragon Link deck is going to be able to choose to go first or second here. You know, that deck is extremely powerful going first um, if they don't brick on the Bestials. So we are going to be seeing them diving in here. And they have the One of Chaos space. Pitching the Ball Drake here. Going to be able to search for a copy of... The Lubellion, which can get... They're going to get hit with a Droll and Lockbird. That is crazy here. You know, Droll and Lockbird is an absolutely insane card. And they're going to activate the Quick Launch here. Going for a Tracer. Will they have anything it takes to get into a, like a Seals here, perhaps? You know, any other type of normal summon could get into it. But do they go for a... I mean, they can't even activate anything off boot. That's just... Unfortunately, Dragon Link is absolute crapped on by this droll. Like, Lubellion in the hand is not that good. And we also have... We're going to see them go into the... Uh, it'll actually affect Pop itself going into the Recharger. They're going to be seeing the effect here. Uh, of Striker Dragon popping itself... To add back Recharger. Recharger is going to activate its effects. The summon with the Ball Drake here. It's like we also have a Beast in the hand. Then when we attributing off for Lubellion, Lubellion is going to be able to activate its effects here to set or to you know place the branded regained onto the field here. If we also have a beast, which we are going to be potentially setting, it could also be an imperm. I just saw a purple card. Um, could be quite good as well. We're just going to be passing turn on this. And they're going to go battle face and activate evenly matched here. Just having the cards that are absolutely used crazy in this. And they're also going to be activating destruction, getting rid of the brand of regain that they did keep here. And we do see them hitting the driver. And then on main phase two, they can normal summon out the Kizzy Kill. Activate the effect, summon out the Leela here from the deck. Having two cards left in hand, and all they have is one Ash Blossom here. Evenly matched is just absolutely crazy. Then we see a special one out of the blue, activating the effect here, summoning out a Jet. Jet will be able to search for a starter here. Or a Smashers in this case. I am... Maybe thinking there is now a starter in the hand. But they're going to be overlaying for a, for a gigantic here. Or they potentially they could have slided out their red and their carrot. You know, for some of those board barrier cards. That is also a possibility. Now we do see the starter here. Which can then go for a copy of going for the red. They have the read. I mean, at this point, they most likely set the imperm that they had. So you definitely can go for the red there. But that evenly droll combo here, just for their life savings, is absolutely busted. And they're going to get hit with Ash Blossom. And we're going to let it go. We don't even need to red negate this. Or they are going to think about... You definitely red negate this. And then we're going to go for a copy of the Kissy Kill. It's going to bring back out the Leela. Then we can go for the Leela, which is going to be bringing back the Kissy Kill, drawing a card. And 
And we have locked ourselves um, with the starter there, so we, we can't go for the Trouble Sunny. We're going to be going for another copy of the Pink. And then we just pass, and they have nothing. They're on top deck mode here. And we have two set cards, a Bring Back Pop, and they reveal the white. They're going to be banishing with the Striker Dragon here, summoning himself out. We do have the Chaos Space that can also put back the Striker Dragon to draw an additional card here. They're going to be reading the uh, Wyvern Burster here. I mean, they're kind of forced to go into a Pisty, which is not good for them at all here. So maybe we just let them do that. Oh, no, they're going to let them pop it. Okay, so they're going to be summoning out, popping it. I mean, it could threaten the battle phase there. We're going to be searching for the dark. And then we're going to activate the chaos space. Putting back and then drawing the additional card here, which are going to be cutting for this. I don't know what the other card in hand is, but we're working with Black Dragon and one unknown versus two face downs in a red. And a red's going to be tributing off that pink, which will let them summon out a monster or summoning out the pink back with the blue, which can get them an additional draw here. So they're facing essentially down two plus interruptions here. We're going to be seeing them banish to summon. And we see that Smashers. Holy. Getting rid of the starter and the pink to be then banishing the black here. Then we're going to be seeing the blue summon out the pink, drawing an additional card here. And they only have one card left in hand, and they haven't activated any of the uh, they haven't activated any of the um, runic cards here. So we're going to see them go for runic tip here. What are they doing? They could have gone battle phase. Just going to then search them for the fountain here. I guess their opponent is on nothing, so we don't really need necessarily a battle phase. We can just start grinding down their points here. Activating the fountain here. Activating slumber. Summoning out the sleepy. And then we're going to be putting back three cards here. They did. They did activate the destruction, so they don't have a battle phase this turn. I am incorrect. So they're going to be drawing three here. Then if I summon out the blue, activate the effect can search but they don't have any more targets in the deck going for the copy here of IP then we get to summon out the jet or summon out the carrot so we did have a target off of blue we just chose not to search off of it and then we're going to be going into the Mutt Raker, which is going to be bringing back the pink here. Setting a card and passing here. Or setting two cards here and passing. You know, I, I can't see Dragon Link breaking this board, honestly, with one of those board breakers. But they chose to go first, so the chances are they will not be breaking this board. And we will be seeing Runic Sprite uh, Live Twin here. And they scoop it up here, drawing the Magnemut, though, which is pretty nice. But unfortunately, they just do not have enough. To be able to combat those multiple negates as well as the two runic cards in the face down zone as well. Getting them additional draws here. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe when you see some more content like this. Don't forget to stay safe. Peace.